Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different. I'm not wearing a drop of makeup right now. I'm still coming to you from my um, vanity because my office is still almost done. Um, I'm pretty much finished, but it's kind of a storage area right now for the construction zone that my bedroom has turned into uh, right now. I don't have my ring light. I have, you can see like the spackle marks right here because I'm in the middle of painting. I'm wearing my paint clothes. You can see my sweats that have all the paint stains on them. And right now I don't have my curtains up right here where my big balcony window is. So my neighbors can probably see me doing this right now. But anyway, today's video I got an idea for a long time ago. I saw Ali Hardesty doing it, um, but then as soon as I got the idea to do it, I saw Jenna Marbles upload a video of doing it. So I waited a while because I didn't want to completely copy her, but it's just um, using just for men to color in my eyebrows because you can tell I'm not wearing any makeup and my eyebrows are basically non-existent if I don't have them filled in. I just, I don't do a whole big crazy lot to my eyebrows, but I definitely have to fill them in if I actually want them to be seen. So I'm just gonna um, put this on and see if it works. I haven't box dyed my hair in a long time and Two of my really good friends are my hairdressers and they have scolded me anytime I do mention buying box dye. Sorry if the lighting's awful, by the way. Base and the developer, okay. I haven't done this in so long. So, wearing gloves. Oh, I gotta wear gloves. So, squeeze a line from the color base into the mixing tray. I'm gonna squeeze an equal amount of developer onto the mixing tray on the other side. You don't need to do an allergy patch test. I'm not allergic. For best results, mix the product with the plastic end of the brush. Do not mix with the bristle end. I'm only gonna do a little bit because my eyebrows are not very big. All right, so it says to mix it with this side. It's way different than what I'm used to. All right, can you see that? So this will only let it sit for like five minutes. Maybe I should have done the allergy test because it's kind of stinging a little bit. I just did a medium brown because I um, don't want to go too crazy and have those like crazy eyebrows that Everybody has these days. I just wanted something that's a little bit darker. All right. It's been about five minutes now. I am going to rinse this off. All right, not too bad. Like I said, they are very sparse. So I know that it would just color all the little bits of hair that there are, but I like it. I like that they're darker. I'm glad I didn't go any darker than that because then they look kind of natural. But don't mind my eyebrows actually. I am in desperate need of getting them waxed, of course. But all in all, I don't mind. I can see a little bit of the dye that's kind of still on my skin, but hopefully just one or two more times of washing my face will fix that <laughs> all right so this is actually not too bad of a good little home remedy if you don't have the money or the time to do to go to a salon and get your eyebrows tinted then that is a good little diy so that was fun so that does it for today's video uh, yeah if you like it go ahead and give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you like my channel and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.